हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूर वेरी वेरी ऑन चैनल फेमी हाउ दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ टू क्रिएट फ्लोटिंग सेल्स इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स फ्लोटिंग सेल्स आर हेल्पफुल वैन वी आर और वैन वी वॉन्ट टू कीप अ साइट ऑन द रिजल्ट ऑफ आर डेटा और आर कैलकुलेशन इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स इट इज़ वेरी हेल्पफुल वैन वी आर वर्किंग विद अज डेटा एंड वॉन्ट to keep a sight on our totals means i have the data and i have calculated the total and i want the total here in front of me whenever i make a change so friends let's learn how to create floating cells there are three ways first way to create floating cells is simply go to formulas and then click on watch windows friends you can see here a list of cells i have added so how we will add cells here i want to simply add the cells of total so i will select these cells and click add watch add watch now click add you can see the cells has been added and in front of every column or cell here, here is the formula you can see here the formula now make a change everywhere and your data for example i make change here for example 453 keep a look here you will see a change you can see now it becomes 13427 now second column I will make a change here. For example, five six seven. The result is one two eight four. Keep a look. One three double zero three. And look here. One three double zero three. One three four two seven. So, friends, that was the first way to create floating cells. Now close this window, and let's learn or go to for second option. Second option is a screenshot, friends. For screenshot, you have to enable camera option here. If you don't have camera option here, simply click this down arrow and click or right click here and click customize the ribbon. Cust quick access toolbar, click here for commands not in the ribbon and search for camera. you can see here camera click here and click add you will get camera here now friends simply select the cells which you want to create floating cells and click this camera now click anywhere and you got your floating cells now friends make changes anywhere for example in third column you can see here 1 3 3 8 i am going to change this 607 to 876 look here 13607 in fourth i am going to change this 574 to 765 756 or 755 you can see here the value has been changed that was the second way to create floating cells now friends i am going to delete it or move down The third way to create floating cells is friend freezing freeze pane but freeze pane will usually work for the top rows freeze top row and you get the floating cells you can see here the top row has been freezed so friends that was or this was the three ways to create floating cells in microsoft excel if my video helps you in any way please subscribe my channel and hit the like button thanks for watching thanks for your time take care Goodbye